सो हे गाइज हाउ आर यू डूइंग आई एम सो सॉरी द वीडियो हैज बिन डिलेइंग अ लॉट दिस वीडियो वॉज सपोज टू बी मेड लास्ट मंथ एंड नाउ आई केम बैक टू मेक दिस वीडियो सो दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट आई एम गॉन टू डिस्कस टूडे दिस इज अबाउट माई कोर्स सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल लाइक दीज डेज पीपल आर अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड्स आई टी सो दे वॉन्ट टू टेक दिस कंप्यूटर साइंस कोर्स आई ऑलवेज गेट सम काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन माई डी एम्स एंड मोस्टली इन कॉमेंट्स that how this course is how the uh, structure is and should we invest our money there or not because it's a big deal to get international education i will be trans- fully transparent with you today and will give you all the insights of my course that i have done uh, in the last 2 years in canada at mohawk college which is computer system technician software support question is uh, like for whom this this course is for um, i'll say this course is for those people who want to improve their basics or who are thinking to start from scratch from scratch what do i mean basically if you don't have any knowledge of coding if you don't even know what is coding or what is programming or what how or any other languages okay so you don't have to worry this course is for you so in this course there are variety of things that you will learn we we'll learn how to program make web pages uh, design them and also make them interactive using javascript css and html and also you learn coding to make uh, attractive uh, and interactive software by using a java uh, python and c sharp .net okay all of these things you will be learning over the span of the course there is another question that mostly stri- uh, that mostly people strikes in my dm and also comments that is this course uh, like what is the frequency of this course over the week like how often do you study or how uh, other classes be like so the classes happens anywhere between 3 to 6 days and why do i mention 6 days 6 a 6 day can be a class when uh, if you have taken any elective so elective class uh, classes are mostly taken on saturdays so uh, i am considering saturday to be my 6 day so 3 to 6 days are usually the classes uh, timings personally i haven't i have never got 3 days in my uh, course but i have seen uh, this in other courses other people's courses that 3 days classes are possible for this course majority of time you will get 4 to 6 days of classes including elective And how often do i study i'll tell you about that this course is pure programming pure uh, just sitting and just looking on to your black screen of the laptop the whole day that's what your task is okay so first you will learn how to sit for long period of times uh, and just focusing on a problem that that's what coding is all about okay so you will first learn that for that it is very important to be consistent it is okay if you don't want to do it like uh, continuously two days but but after two days you have to get back to the coding or that problem otherwise you will be blank again and you have to start from scratch and uh, wh- why i'm saying this because these programming languages are very like not very easy not very hard but like medium to learn medium level to uh, medium uh, level of hardship to learn but you need to be consistent with them if you uh, lose your consistency or you think like i'll do it like a week later or maybe now my reading week is coming in and i'll be having like whole week free and i'll spend the uh, next academic week studying about programming so after a week you will be gone you will be done so you need to study you need to keep it going otherwise you will be blank i don't want that to happen that's why i'm suggesting you if you take this course just be prepared you have to be consistent so the next thing i'm going to talk to you about is the device so you got three uh, you got two options basically one is to buy your own device and one is to loan from college so loaning devices from college is also a very very great way you can just loan the laptop for entire semester and you will be good with that but if you don't want to do that if you want to have your personal laptop uh, have the ownership of the laptop basically if you want to do that then you can get a 
brand new laptop or any used laptop uh, maybe on facebook marketplace or a new laptop from best buy amazon or whatever you know uh, is available the two of uh, the two options that you have if you want to buy a laptop because in uh, in uh, when you get loan from college then also you will get two options but mostly you will be given a windows laptop book is only given to you when uh, you have some ios development course or something like that you know related to mac and related to ios development so that's a different domain so that you will uh, be getting in fourth uh, semester that subject so maybe you will be eligible to get a macbook then but before that you will be getting a windows laptop okay so the question is uh, if you want to buy your own laptop what uh, what kind of laptop you should buy uh, whether it should be a macbook or a uh, windows laptop macbook is uh, the one that i recently bought after my graduation and most of i have seen like most of the virtualization most of the softwares that i need uh, to get my things done in this course are not available on this macbook but why i use macbook uh, is a different question because i use only a macbook for uh, my coding because i just in installing virtual machines and all of that i don't do that and uh, and other than that this macbook is a very great deal and if you want to consider buying it you can buy it it's uh, 1500 dollars after tax i believe this is the cheapest one that you can get okay so okay. the best laptop i'll tell you to for this uh, course is going to be any 15 inch laptop with 8 gigabytes of ram and at least 256 gb memory sometimes people have 17 inch laptops and i'm like what the hell but 15 uh, inch is good for you it will be ideal for you okay so get a get a 15 inch laptop with 8 gigabytes of ram and ssd uh like 256 ssd at least uh, why i'm saying ssd because ssds are great these days you won't find any good laptop uh, without ssd all good laptops have ssd and they have at least 8 gigabytes of ram why ram is important because whenever you do virtualization whenever you open virtual box on this then you need ram your 4 gb of ram is so less and it will be eaten it can be eaten by google chrome only because google chrome takes a lot of ram okay i prefer you to buy a 8 inch uh, 8 uh, gb uh, ram laptop or maybe more than that if, if your budget allows but at least 8 gigs and 2 to 6 gb of ssd is essential or important and many of the people have this doubt as well that if i take this course like basically i'm a kind of person who doesn't uh, who doesn't want to study who you know just want to concentrate on work just for its sake i'm doing it otherwise i, I have no interest in computers and all of that and no interest in studies so this course is not for you but if you're a person with potential if you have a, if you are a person with uh you know dreams that you want to build with this laptop with this uh, course basically uh, that you can go very far in this field and you can do very well then go for this course okay another question is uh is this uh, course so hard that you you will be getting uh supply or you know you will be failing is that is this course so uh, freaking hard the answer is yes and no okay so why yes and no it's very diplomatic answer but uh yes and no why yes because it's very hard for those who don't want to study at all okay at all they don't have any you know aim they don't have any uh interest in computer so they will fail okay but if you are someone who will try to manage to do it okay then go for it do first uh, i'll suggest first research about it just go on to w3 schools pep coding and there are multiple youtube channels you can search about coding these days so just go on that and search about coding so you'll understand what are the languages and how are these languages like how people are using these languages to write a form of code if you can do that by yourself if you have capability that you can sit uh, with a computer open in front of you for whole day not the whole day but it depends on the efficiency right so how efficient you are in doing some coding okay so it depends on you how logical you can think how fast you can think so it depends on you so it, the code, same code can take like two minutes so not two minutes sorry two hours or maybe you can take the whole day so it depends on you okay so what is the fee or what is the tuition fee that you pay for this course so in my time when i came for the first time over here um, i paid around sixteen thousand three hundred sixty three dollars 
ओके दैट वॉज माई फीस फॉर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सेमेस्टर लाइक यू कैन से माई फर्स्ट ईयर ओके तो दैट वॉज द फीस दैट आई गेव बिकॉज वेन यू कम फ्रॉम इंडिया सो फ्रॉम कमिंग फ्रॉम दर यू पे अ फुल ईयर फीस दिस कैटेगरी इज कॉल्ड एस डी एस सो दिस इज स्टूडेंट डायरेक्ट स्ट्रीम इन विच यू गेट फास्ट वीजा बट यू नीड टू पे अ होल ईयर फीस माई थर्ड सेमेस्टर आई पेड अराउंड एट्टी फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर लास्ट सेमेस्टर फीस वॉज एट थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड इट वॉज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली नाइन थाउजेंड सो इट वॉज दैट मच सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट लाइक सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड प्लस एटी फाइव हंड्रेड डॉलर प्लस एटी नाइन हंड्रेड डॉलर इट्स लाइक टू मच इट्स हाउ मच इज इट इट्स लाइक थर्टी थ्री टू थर्टी फोर हंड्रेड डॉलर सो दैट्स लाइक दैट्स द अमाउंट ऑफ फी दैट यू गिव फॉर अ डिप्लोमा कोर्स एज एन इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट टू स्टडी इन कैनडा इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो सो फार इफ यू हैड मेड इट सो फार जस्ट गिव इट अ लाइक दैट दैट इज वेरी मच अप्रिशिएटेड एंड एनी लाइक्स दैट यू गिव और एनी कॉमेंट्स दैट यू लिव really makes a good uh, great place in my heart for you okay so please uh, leave a comment if you think uh, any of this information was useful to you and i'll see you in the next one till then uh, just leave your uh, suggestions for next videos and everything and the videos will come very soon now have a good one and see ya and take care and let's meet the next time with the beautiful people bye